Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Be a way through. Damn it. insane. <sighs> this traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. 
Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right. Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <laughs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and the water. <sighs> but what happened to her? When I woke up, they were both gone. You girls should make a one turn off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no. Le uh, let me. Do you know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You gonna be okay? Yes, I. Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit. Uh, you sit here. I'll. Uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. So bad. How do I stop? I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. 
The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace, forgotten in time. are fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh? They must be ritualistic. Th this female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. Handle's missing. Together. Oh, shit. It won't take the force. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Such a drama queen. I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Laura doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. 
that's probably going to drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. Right, that should do it. Right, Laura? Shall we give it a go, then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <gasps> You still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No. I'm handling this. No. No. Oh. no. Please. Get off. Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do it. Do whatever they say. Дай меня пистолет. Иди. 
ました А ты ведь хорошенькая, да? Напоминаешь мою сестру. Don't you fucking move. Kill them all. Hey, Думаешь, удастся спастись? No one escapes. Out. Вылезай! Но трать моего времени! I always
on. She went down over there. Is she dead? I don't know. Outsider, we know you're here. There's nowhere to run. killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. They have to be. 
I don't know what the hell is going on here. All that matters is that Roth finds a way to get us home. Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now.
somewhere. Find her. Capture? Kill. Kill her! It's too much trouble. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades. I knew I could never refuse him. been used by a villager or a noble, maybe.
thought you were alive. Oh. Oh, God's got nothing to do with it. It's good to see you two go. Oh, sorry, they did a real number on your leg. Oh, no, it looks worse than it is. Oh. Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, but you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no. Oh. no. Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard. Yeah, somewhere.